I'm going to start with a little bit of my background, a little story for all of y'all. I grew up in El Salvador. If you don't know where that is, don't talk to me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that is in Central America. Uh, it is a very beautiful, humble, very poor area. The crime rate up to the sky, you know? But people there, they know how to work. They know how to strive and achieve things that I don't even know how they do it because we do it without money. Oh, I'll tell you how we do it. We do it with God. That's how we do it. Moving on. Um, so I grew up poor, and uh, I hated it. I hated it. I hated my life. Uh, my mother worked all the time. She worked all the time, and even though she worked all the time, she was always there for me. I don't know how she managed to do that, but I guess it's one of those skills moms have, you know, like, yeah, don't ask me. But um, so my mother was always there for me, but the problem wasn't that. The problem was that I grew up without a father as well. I did not have anybody to lean on. So when you ask me what does God mean to me, God means a father that I didn't have. When you ask me what does God mean to me, he is the the reason that I'm here right now because I'm supposed to be dead yeah, yeah. literally straight up like that you know the enemy has tried to come to my family and and just steal destroy you know and just just try to take everything from me you know what I mean but the reason that the, the fact that I'm sitting here is good enough a good enough reason for me to strive through what God has for me and I know that right now God took me from that place Right now, if I was still living there, I would be a gang member or I should be dead. One of those two were my options. Straight up. And you know what? I have struggled that night. I have gone without food one day. Or two or three. Psych! No. Tell you what. God provided. That was supposed to be what I should tell you. You know what I mean? But God provided. He provided three times a day, 24-7, 365, and he's still providing for me right now. So you cannot tell me there is no God because trust me, nah, no, trust me, I don't believe that. Trust me. I have seen dark nights, just like God blesses me up my sleep with dreams and visions, and they all come to, to happen. The enemy torments me. I, 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 I did struggle with depression. I did. I did struggle with depression. I did struggle with suicidal thoughts. I did struggle with pornography. I did struggle with smoking. I did struggle with a bunch of things that my family doesn't even know. But you know what? I am set free in the name of Jesus because he brought me the freedom that I needed. There's a lot of things that's wrong with, with the world. but And we become too so negative and we become to hate one another. But why hate one another? You know what I mean? We're all struggling. We all need help. We all need help. You cannot tell me you can walk this walk alone. Because I'm telling you right now, actually, everybody has tried that here. Tell me, how, how did it go for you? How did it go for you? Because I'll tell you, it went bad for me. It, oh, oh, man. <laughs> it went bad. It went bad. When I thought I knew what I was doing, trust me, I didn't. I didn't. When you ask me, what does God mean to me? He means love. He means love because I was, I'm able to love myself and who I am with and with all my imperfections. And once I hated everything that I was, everything that I was, my shoe size, I hated the way I looked. Even though you love my hair, I thought I looked like a clown. You know, I mean, all of these things, you know what I mean? But I learned to love myself because God loved me. And so since he loved me, I can say that I love you and that I love you. And even though I don't know your name, brother, I can say that I love you too. You cannot tell me God doesn't exist because I know everyone in this room will be willing to give up their life for somebody they don't know. How odd is that? Ah, yeah, yeah. So when you ask me what does God mean to me? He means mercy as well. He means forgiveness because I was able to forgive my father. When you ask me what does God mean to me? 
he means my provider. He, he, he's everything. He's everything that I love. He's everything that, that I need in my life to be able to get to the promised land that he has promised for me. He took me out of being a slave in Egypt and placed me into this land and from this land to the promised land that he has for me. Trust me, I cannot wait to get up there in heaven and just ooh, chillax and just, oh man. I, 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 I do pray to God. I, I, I sure hope there's coffee there because it's one of my addictions. But, you know, it's a good one. It's a good one. But I just, with that being said, I just want to, I want to challenge you real quick to just strive for greatness and go with God because you cannot do this by yourself. Amen.